Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and where you can find all your VR educational entertainment. Very nice to meet you if it's your first time here to the platform. And of course, a huge welcome back to all our regular subscribers. It's always awesome to have you with us. So today we're talking about basically Samsung, who have seemed to have released some new images of some controllers on a VR device that it seems uh, perhaps they've been working on, but if they have been working on it, it's certainly for quite some time now. So this is the second article that's been published by Upload VR on this matter. And they said that they found the images from a publication called Let's Go Digital. So based on the Samsung Odyssey, now we know that Samsung haven't really done great in the last few years, unfortunately, as we really had hoped and had high hopes, I mean, for them in terms of playing catch up, especially, for example, with Facebook and the Quest, but they went another route and decided more or less to, you know, focus on the enterprise market for the time being. So the question is, is this VR headset, first of all, is it in production? We have to assume that it is. Secondly, is it going to be meant for the enterprise or is it going to be meant for the consumer? So is it going to be the return back to the consumer? That's really the big question as well. And also, is this VR headset that they're working on going to be a tetherless, standalone wireless headset that can take on, for example, Pico Neo 2 or the Oculus Quest 2, or is it just going to be another tethered headset and potentially compete with the likes of HP Reverb G2 or potentially with, for example, Varjo? Who knows? Although their technology of Varjo is super, super high end. I will try to reach out to the president of HTC to ask him if he could give us any insights into these images. All we know at the moment, of course, is the renders from these 3D images, which looks like apparently the controllers have a ring that ties back itself into some kind of, I guess, a semi-bow, you could call it. They do look very slick, but again, what does it mean? What technology will they be using for the tracking? Is it going to be used for Windows Mixed Reality as Upload VR a suggestion? Just a lot of questions that, you know, we need answers to. But anyway, it's great to know that these guys are still in the game. It seems that they seem to be pretty active and hopefully, hopefully they can take on Facebook at some time in the future. All right, guys, take it easy. See you in the next video.